Greetings folks, welcome back to the channel. Just a quick little video, show you what I've made this week. And I'm gonna tell you as well, what stock I'm gonna have up a week today. Because three of the knives I've made this week will be up on my website as stock for sale a week today. Right, let's kick it off. First of all, a Mark 1. And this will be stock for next week. And this is an ABL Mark 1 with red linen micarta scales on a white liner. A light brown leather belt sheath with the dreaded white stitching to match the white liner. That's number one. And this will be for sale next week. The next one is another stock one. It's a Mark II. And this is another ABL knife. And yes, I've got some orange back in stock. ABL orange G10 on olive green liners. And this is quite a slim handle. And this is how I'm probably gonna be making these from now on. I quite like this slimmer handle because you've got enough meat there to fill your hand, but it's not too bulky. No protruding tang. If you want one, you've got to ask for one. And a dark green Kydex neck sheath. Stock for next week. <clears throat> next one, this is also stock for next week. This is a bit different. A Bush Tool S in ABL. Like a mid to dark brown sheath. Blue stitching and blue micarta scales. Now I bought a slab of blue micarta because a customer of mine who's been waiting quite a while, sorry Paul, wants a Mark 1 with blue scales. So I bought some blue micarta. Now this stuff is an absolute pig to work. It clogs all the belts up, but I have found a way around it. Yeah, bit different. I put brass bolts and tubes on it just to give it a, a bit of a zing more than the stainless ones. And there we are. So it's a light blue, will darken with the use mine. It'll get a lot darker. I think it'll get a lot darker. There we are, Bush Tool S. Leather dangler sheath. Right, those are the ones for stock. I do have an FTP here as well for stock next week. So there'll be four, one of each model up for sale next Wednesday evening, GMT. Right, now the next two are both for orders. Now the first one is for a good customer of mine from Switzerland and he's got quite a few of my knives and he's a very good customer and he requested an orange G10 handle on a bush tool. Lucky for him, I had one blade left. Yes, the RWL are no more. For for now, they're no more for now. Right. I've had difficulty getting orange G10. That's why you haven't seen many orange G10 handles for quite a while. I am a big fan of the orange G10. I do like it. So right, an original bush tool in leather sheath. RWL34. And it's orange with a thin black liner and a thick orange liner because I can only get this stuff in 6mm so I've got to bulk it out with a, a liner or two. There we go. I'm sure he's going to watch this and go, I can't wait to have that. There we are. And the last one is also same blade as this, an original bush tool in RWL34. And this is for a gentleman who won, a, won one of my early coffee competitions. I think it was the third one he won. Right, requested a black Kydex sheath, 
black jet jet black my cat the scales on thick red liners he has informed me that he has large hands but it's still not too big for me there you go so that's for justin oh nice click there we are then that's everything i've made this week Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your views. And I appreciate if you pop on over next Wednesday and buy a knife. Until the next time, ta-ra.